Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a Master League team that I played uh, yesterday for, I think, two or three sets. Um, I, I, I think I actually played four total sets, but the first Master League team I went in with, I really didn't like. I thought kind of like Tapu Bulu would counter everything, and so I decided I was going to go Tapu Bulu, and then it was just like I ran into... Um, Dawn Wings, uh, Necrozma Dawn Wings, like two or three times in the switch, and my team just wasn't great against that. And then uh, I ran into Ho -Oh in the lead twice, so I was like, okay, maybe maybe this team's not working out. And I went back to work, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a Yveltal team. Uh, well, Yveltal was on that team as well, but I was like, I need to take Bulu out. I think it's just a little too RPS. Um, even though it really hard counters a lot of things that are really good in the meta, I guess I just didn't hit the right things um it's really bad against ho-oh but it's really good against uh riparia which you're gonna see a lot of it's everywhere in master league it's also very good against palkia which you're gonna see a lot of as well um but you're gonna see a lot of necrozma and you're gonna see a decent amount of ho-oh not as much as any of those but a decent amount but anyways uh so the team i decided to go with here is yavaltal with um ho-oh in the back as well as actually Landorus Theron form, which now I'm just now thinking is triple flyer, but they're very, I don't know, there's not a lot of anti-flyers in this meta, I guess. It's more of just like, here are the eight best mon, they all do a ton of damage to each other, go off. Um, I will say this team felt awkward against Primarina. Um, I never ran into a Primarina that had Waterfall. I'm sure that exists somewhere, though. But this team felt really awkward into Primarina. I, I always switched into Landris, um, which felt fine. Uh, because, I don't know, they always have Charm. So Ho-Oh is going to be doing a lot of... Not going to be taking a lot of damage from them, but you're going to have to shield the Hydro Cannons. So, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. But first, if you haven't, definitely hit the subscribe button. And... Here we go. So the reason we're using Veltal here is that Sucker Punch was uh, uh, was buffed, basically, and Veltal had Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch rather. But, um, I mean, you guys know me. I was always using Veltal, even with Snarl. I was also using the Oblivion Wing uh, subset here, or moveset, rather. And then we have Landers Theron has been nerfed. Mudshot is much less energy generation than before. So it does take you a little longer to get to your moves. I will say Landorus, you're not going to see a lot of it. I did see some. I think I saw two or three in the course of a day's worth of battles, um, even against the other team, which also Bulu would be good against. But um, yeah, it's a lot weaker than it is was before. But the thing about it is Sandseer Storm still a great move. It has very good typing for this type of meta. Um, flying and ground, ground specifically being really good against like Necrozma, Dawn Wings, um, Dialga Origin Form, which is around a lot as well. It's not great. Our our backline is very weak against water, so if we stay in, if we have water in the front, we'll stay in against it with the Yveltal, or hopefully we'll pull out one of the waters. Anyways, also another thing to note here. Maybe we'll just start the video because this is going to be a long matchup. But another thing to note. I saw, like, I must have played 20 games, 20 to 25 games if you include the other Master League team that I decided was terrible and let go of. Um, and I saw a ton of Zygarde. I actually think I saw, like, a five or six Zygarde. I guess this is just the season of Zygarde. I mean, people are finishing their routes. I guess it makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't think this is fully leveled up because it's only 4,100. I I personally don't know what the max is here, but again, they have a Dragon Tail, you have Sucker Punch, you have a two-turn move, they have a three-turn move, you want to throw on 147. Um, I do get the farm down, and now I can just throw whatever into this. I actually end up throwing the um, <laughs> the Oblivion Wing, and they don't shield, which is crazy to me. That is very crazy. Maybe I should have come in with Ho-Oh. ho is a much better... Uh, matchup into Solgaleo. It really has nothing to hit with, but I think I was like, I'll just take the Psychic Fangs and switch. Um, I guess I didn't end up switching, but I probably will switch right after this, I feel like. Yeah, I tried to take it out, and we actually we get Landorus there in the very first uh, 
first one. I think he's got a best buddy because his is 60 CP higher than mine, and I'm very sure that mine is maxed out. Now, I may not have the hundo. That's probably a for sure. Um, but yeah, they, theirs must be best buddied. But uh, they do have, uh, after I get to two moves here, I'm like, okay, whatever, I won't shield anymore. I can just go into the Landris matchup myself um, because I don't want to call some weird bait scenario where they end up going for Sansu Storm here. If you go over the Stone Edge, I'm four times reduced defense. I'm f two times weak to uh, to rock, so probably this is blowing up 50 ho's. So um, I decided I want to get a little bit of energy, and, and they end up just coming in here so we're gonna stone edge and that's gg all right rhyperior definitely the mud uh, or the uh, ground type that you see the most of in this league definitely not the landris so we're a little awkward in this matchup as well um they do end up throwing before they were even at the rock wrecker which i was just like okay that's weird they're not even baiting me but to be fair this is the set where i get my um and then I was like, oh, whatever, they throw whatever here. And they actually end up throwing Rock Record. Oh, wait. I think they throw Rock Record later, if I remember right. Anyways, we throw Stone Edge into the Dragonite. Anyway, what I was also saying before that was, this is the set for my um, for my ELO rating reveal. So we're going to see what my rating is after these games. Um, I decided to just let this go. We're already pretty frail anyways landris always even even when landris was the best it was always just kind of frail right and i decided i can just go for the farm down here um they're gonna get to one move probably it's superpower to be honest yeah most people running um not just running superpower but if you're only gonna get one move off definitely go for the superpower and they actually ugh, i lag there it looks like they end up getting two mud shots sorry two mud slaps off to my one Sucker Punch? Mine's a two-turn move. There's a three-turn move. How do they get six turns on my two? I will never know, but um, I have to win that matchup. I can't really... Ho-Oh's resisted. Incinerate's resisted, so I decided to just switch right... Oh, yeah. That's GG. But, uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to farm down a right period with ho -Oh, so that's definitely not a matchup you want to be in. ho -Oh in the lead's a little weird. Um, theirs is better than mine, so they probably have the hundo. I believe... I don't think I have the hundo. I'm 90% sure. Um, I know my Yavelto's a hundo. Uh, I'm pretty sure. No, wait. No, my, my Yavelto's a 98. Okay. I don't have a lot of hundos, so you don't need 100% IV Mon to play in this league. I think 98s and 96s are fine. Just make sure on pvpoke.com that you are running the sims and make sure that you are not losing out on too much there. This guy's 42-42. Um, this is a crunch. Oh, it could be an outrage, I guess. Okay, it's a crunch. So we're going to go for a little bit more energy. Going to go up to almost max energy here. Again, Four. Uh, we get four mud shots in, um, considering we have a two-turn move versus their three-turn move. And um, I have a lot of energy here. Lando with energy has always been pretty good. I decide this is my last move against this Palkia, so I'm going to go for the high damage move. They end up shielding probably good for me. No, I lost. <laughs> yeah, Lando in the back against, or I'm sorry, Palkia on the back against two, um, two weak to water mines. Not great. They end up catching here on their ho -Oh, which, okay, good for them. I mean, it's really good for them, to be honest. Um, they have a shadow. I have pace, so this Brave Bird will KO. Um, they could shield, but I'm always going to outpace. Plus, I'm probably just going to let this go, to be honest. And then I'll farm down with Yveltal. Um, Probably I'll shield once. Oh, they actually go for the Sacred Fire. Yeah, I'm going to shield once. But I think I can get the farm down here if they go for the Brave Bird, which 90% of the time they're going to be going for the Brave Bird here. Sacred Fire. Okay, well, they don't make it to another move. I guess they wouldn't have made it to a move anyways. But they come back in with Gardevoir. Luckily for us, it is... Well, we could have gone for the Oblivion Wing, I guess. But it's neutral either way. Um, they throw Triple Axle here, which is super effective. And then I'm like, I can make it to the move. Okay, I can't. But I'll just shield this next move and farm all the way down. Or I get to farm down completely, and now I have just a ton of energy. I go for the Sandstorm Storm against the Necrozma. Two of these will KO... The Dawn Wings Necrozma, and I have a shield, so it doesn't matter that they get to the Dark Pulse before I get to this next Sandstorm. 
and they oh they lose tmp anyways yeah lando has always been like i said earlier frail which means attack weighted basically comparative to the other things all right bulu in the lead so they technically outpaced to nature's madness i should not shield this first one and i remember i do shield it because the first one's not going to ko and the rest of them the subsequent ones are going to be um your defense gets lowered so they're going to be doing more damage so you really don't want to shield the first one and they're running um bullet seed which obviously you should be running as the bulu but i'm just meaning that uh they're not going to farm you down with <laughs> with bullet seed right it's resisted by the flying tie being in the vel eval tool here so we go to the full shields um third nature's madness probably this one ko's yeah all right well we have ho-oh i get a little bit of a lead here uh they have a shadow riperior um is rock record gonna ko here i doubt it it's it's neutral okay wow good honestly good timing here by me uh but so risky i feel like but it's whatever i guess we're getting close to the next answer storm they're probably gonna come back in with the bulu um no they end up coming back in with the mute or coming in with the shadow mewtwo so double shadows in the back um i'm almost at a move here on rhyperior i'm afraid of them catching this is just a side strike so i'll probably go for one incinerate here oh they go for the catch I decide to farm this all the way down. We do resist everything coming through here, so this is just nature's madness. And they're only at three um, psycho cuts. <laughs> so it takes five to get to the uh, side strike there. I wanted to show my rating. I just hit 22.25. You know, I've seen better, but I'll take it. Um, it is what it is. I, I think I basically only played Psychic Cup, so... All right, they stay in with the Togekiss for a long time. I end up throwing on some weird timing, I guess. I just I wanted to make sure they weren't going to get out of here, but um, I'm just going to let this go. It There is odds that it could be an Ancient Power. Oh, but it KO'd me anyways. Tough. I could come in with a Ho-Oh, or I could just come in Yveltal, but um, I'll be able to farm down either way. They won't be able to throw another move, so Yveltal is going to have the most play in the back, you would think. They end up showing Rhyperior here. Scary for me, right? Because I cannot let this get on to um, Ho-Oh. So lucky to get one through here. I'm going to have to shield this. And then I really hope it's Rock Wrecker. Again, it takes five mud slaps to get to Rock Wrecker every single time. It's exact. Um, I learned that in a coaching session. So uh, yeah, mud slaps 10 energy and it's 50 energy for a Rock Wrecker. So at this point, now it is kind of low enough. I'm going to let this just go, and I'm going to go all in with the one shield to one shield with Ho-Oh versus whatever's in the back. And it ends up being an extra drill. So I'm just going to go for the complete farm down, to be honest. They have a rock move, but energy's already gone through here. I just get to shield this. Rock slide, double super effective, but they're not going to get it off. And um, yeah, we're going to be able to... We actually are able to farm down a right barrier when it is at literally one HP, so... All right, Landorus, this matchup's a little better than it used to be just because you technically outpace, which makes me think this is a Sansir Storm. Actually, it has to be. It's eight to get to the um, um, Stone Edge, I believe. They end up coming in with their own um, Yveltal, which I was like, okay, well, I can get two moves off. They're going to be at a move now. So I could come in with my own um, Ho-Oh, and get a farm down here we're only going to take one oblivion wing if they have oblivion wing if they have uh focus blast maybe they'll just dark pulse us so yeah we have a lot of energy now they end up coming in with a dialga i'm going to be able to get this sacred fire off we do want to throw these as soon as possible there's a chance to lower the attack so we want to make sure we have the um chance to do that so they don't farm us down and then i'm just going to throw the brave bird they actually end up throwing their move um yeah, even if there's an Iron Head. Oh. Oh, I guess we didn't Brave Bird before, actually. I, for some reason, I thought our defense was lowered. So I'll be able to get a lot of damage off here. Ends up getting another shield. 
um, which is fine. Now I have Lando. I can shield once and get a lot of energy, which is what I would do before throwing in that situation. I have two things good against Dialga here, so I decide to go into my Ho-Oh, and this is a really bad matchup. Um, I make a decision here to just... I'm going to go, I think, for... Well, I, I should go for one more. Oh, but I'm at 100 energy. No, I shouldn't go for one more. But I decide to go for a Sacred Fire first, and then I go for a Brave Bird. Honestly, I should have just gone double Brave Bird. We'll see how much it does, though. We definitely wouldn't have KO'd this thing. This thing is super bulky maybe we would have actually yeah super bad play by me just go for the double brave bird especially after he threw a move right so he's gonna have to throw another move well probably not he'll just farm me down at that point but we're getting outraged left and right but we do get the farm down here which is pretty nice um I obviously have the Dark Bulls here for the Dialga. I just want to do some damage. I'm going to switch into Lando. I guess best thing in the back could be Rhyperior for us, especially with them down a shield. Um, they're not switching, which is weird. Um, I'm going to use my shield, and now it's going to be Shield Parity. Basically, we use that shield for a huge energy advantage here on the Landris. I do wait to see that a Dragon Breath comes through, but that doesn't really matter. They could switch whenever they want. Since it's a one-turn move, it's not like the normal waiting a turn but usually if they do throw one dragon breath they're they're trying to stay in for the whole time right so that's my logic anyways but they still could just do one and switch you're not gonna 100 percent gonna get it every time you know i'm just realizing my camera is off center i feel like my hair is off center too oh well <laughs> all right uh again riparier is fine for us here in the lead I think a rock record would KO me, to be honest. They end up going for another breaking swipe. Oh, is this the guy that I thought? You know what? He just has breaking swipe and maybe, like, surf or something. If this guy is surf, we're so screwed. Um, I think he ends up rock recording us here, which ends up doing, like, 80%. It's crazy. Rock record is such a good move. Eh, it does 70%. That's fine. Oh, lo and behold, another Zygarde. Everyone has Zygarde. I think I'm at literally 52 candies out of the 200. Not candy. Um, Zygarde cells out of the 200. And now this is awkward for me. But Yavolto's always been really good against Zygarde, especially in seasons past. A lot more Zygardes now seem to be running Outrage, which less good for me. Um, this is awkward. I really need him to no-shield this for me to even have a chance. And not only that, I need to like live this next one and then get another move off. But even the crunches at this point are still doing a decent amount. Oh, we do get it off though. Okay, if they no shield this and they're weak to Ho in the back, it's good for us. All right, all in Ho. -Oh. Uh, ends up being male metal, so that's probably a loss. They do have a rock slide, but they don't. They have thunderbolt. That means we have a huge chance because uh, it takes them a long time to actually get to Thunderbolt. And for sure, for sure, they're running um, Superpower just to have the coverage. You wouldn't def you wouldn't go two anti-flying moves. I get the bait, and then I go for the Sacred Fire, and that's GG. I was like, I'm going to go for Double Brave Bird. Then I noticed they're at the exact same point on the circles. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get to the Sacred Fire in one less this time around. That's nice. Rayquaza, definitely a mon I haven't seen since Breaking Swipe got nerfed. I mean, obviously I've seen it, but just not that much is what I mean. So very interesting to run into it here. Um, definitely want to go for Oblivion Wing. It is more damage than um, than Dark Pulse in all neutral scenarios. The only reason you'd go for Dark Pulse is in resisted scenarios. I end up coming in Ho-Oh here, which is weird, you would say, because it's into a Dragon type. But it is much more bulky than Landorus, and I kind of just want to eat a move there. But now I end up having to shield, breaking swipe, I think lowers my attack. Awesome. So the scenario I've gone for has really failed. I thought I could get this huge farm down. Um, but now since they've shielded, oh, I've actually lowered their attack as well. Touche, Sacred Fire. Um, since they shielded, I'm going to decide to shield here, and then hopefully I get the farm down. Then I end up banking a ton of energy and coming back into the Avaltal, um, going for the dark, dark Pulse here. And now it's like, I probably don't want to come in with the Landris. So when this goes down, I probably come in with the Ho-Oh and throw Sacred Fire, um, because Landris has a chance to just take a ton of freaking damage. 
Now, they end up catching here on Heatran, which sucks for me. But um, I'm going to get to a move here because they try to go for farm down. And then I decide I probably need to make sure I have a little bit of energy on Landorus. So I undercharge this. It's resisted anyways. I get one extra much shot in here to have a little bit of a energy advantage because Roar of Time probably KOs me. And I get to the uh, Sansor Storm, which is definitely going to KO. So GG. Tough tough game weird heatran heatran wait dragon lead dragon in the back heatran in the back i guess double dragon double steel an old ultra league uh or even master league premiere setup nice they actually super powered which is great except that we run into the waterfall gyarados here and now it's like oh i can't leave this matchup that's fine i'll throw an oblivion wing they end up shielding i get to another oblivion wing and i'm like they'll definitely not no, double shield because if they do i'm screwed basically oh they do this sucks i probably have to shield here because i really need to take this gyarados out if it ever even touches my back one i'm so screwed um we end up going for cmp here and i win cmp because i'm a legendary and they're not so yeah get rid of the gyarados that's nice. Now I have to really deal with the Dragonite, and I'll probably have to let this go down as well. Um, luckily for me, Dragonite in in this league really is more about fast move pressure. Um, a Dragon Claw right here, not really going to KO. And I, I contemplate whether I'm just going to go straight for the Stone Edge and hope that they don't catch, and I decide to do that. And now I'm probably just going to switch into Ho-Oh and hope that I'm good in the back, and yeah. It's Solgaleo. It's the best I can be. All right, that's going to be it for Master League this rotation. Um, what do I have to say about Master League? So, yeah, it's not a lot of Mon. Um, uh, interesting enough, I think in this video, you're going to see way more Mon than you're probably going to see in your uh, normal games. I guarantee you're not going to see Heatran, Heatran Rayquaza. And when I say I guarantee, I mean you're going to see it less than 5% of days. Heatran, Rayquaza, Landorus, Theron, I do think you will see one in every like 10, uh, one in every like 15 games, 12 to 15 games, because the typing is still really good. It it just destroys Rhyperior as well, um, but it's just not as good as it used to be. It's not the all-star like two seasons ago when, when it was the best mon before Origin Palkia came out, or Origin Form Palkia. Um, what else? Yeah, you're mainly going to be seeing, like, let's count how many Mon you're going to be seeing. Tapu Bulu, Origin Form Palkia, uh, Ho-Oh, um, oh, there's one big one I'm missing for sure, Necrozma, Dawn Wings, a little bit of Dialga, and Rhyperior. So those six Mon you're going to be seeing a ton of. If you think you can find a way to crack that meta, and still not be super weak to just random neutral matchups that you're going to see a couple times a day, or if, I guess a couple times a set. Um, yeah, that those those are the six mine you really need to beat in this league. So these type of low, I, I said this a ton, but we're just going to say it again in this video. These type of low um, usage of mon metas, where the the con the the meta is super condensed, is where you can really. Um, increase your rating by a lot you just learn your team and you have the six to eight things that you see every day and you know how to play out those matchups you know how to bait certain things out that you're really afraid of of those six to have a hard carry in the late game then you're going to be winning those it's kind of like psychic cup where there was like literally like five mon or four mon but that that fourth one there was like eight different names for it like meow sick um I don't know the name, the ribbon thing, the the big head with the the triangles, Behemoth. Those are all the same mon. Um, you can call them different names, but they're, they're the exact same thing. Just a fast attack astonish user or a, a, a fast attack sucker punch user, right? Anyways, those uh, condensed metas is where you're going to gain a lot of uh, ELO if you really um, pick a team kind of early in that first day, try out some teams and play the one you like the most, and then um, really push it. Uh, now, in saying that, Open Master League is leaving, but Gowler Grey League is starting soon. I haven't looked into that, but I have a feeling that probably there are like six Mon that are good in that cup. So if you don't want to play Open Great League because that is the opposite 
where there are maybe 15 very good mon and um, while there are super powerhouses in for alligator and clod sire they're not every team's not going to have those um, some people are just countering those with like uh dun sparse or well, yeah so there's 15 mon you can choose from in that league and that's crazy sometimes anyways this this video is going long i will catch you in the next one if you like this video hit the hit the thumbs up and if you haven't definitely hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next one hey thank you for watching the video and if you want to continue to support me definitely click that subscribe button you'll see any content coming out and if you want another video on this same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams check that video out right there and i'll see you in the next one